Hey beer tubers. As you see, I'm still here at my friend's house in LA, but I'm continuing on with my reviews of Great Divide's beers that I only could get here in LA and not in San Francisco. So, tonight I'm going to be having their Hibernation Ale. This is their Winter Warmer series. Um, it's the, it says here that it's a tradition that they've had since 1995. Uh, this is an English style old ale that is 8.7% ABV. Uh, so this is going to be pretty different from their barley wine, I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it is here. Uh, it says that this, has, this is dry hopped and has malty richness as you would expect in an old ale. Now if some of you aren't sure what an old ale is, it's one of those styles that derived from England along with a barley wine that has sort of a distinct difference, but it's, it's, it's a very, very thin line. Uh, but I think in general, old ales tend to have uh, more caramel, uh, not as hoppy as barley wines. Um, it doesn't have as robust of a flavor, uh, at least the ones that I've had. But anyways, why don't I go ahead and pour it here. I'm pouring it in my friend's stone barley wine glass here. So it's sort of appropriate. Really cool glass too, actually. So, the color is a ruby red, almost uh, ruby or uh, ruby brown, actually. It's got a pretty dark color to it. Uh, the bubbles are, oddly enough, kind of orange-ish as well, too. Uh, pretty big bubbles, actually. And, you know, sort of foamy. Wow, that, that smells good, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like raisins. Like raisins, caramel. Almost smells like a sweet barley wine. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think American style, oh, American old ales tend to be on the sweeter side compared to English. Of course, this is the American take on the English style old ale, so. Yeah, it, it may be pretty different from, uh, like, like that one I had, is the Vintage Ale by Fuller's. That's an old ale. It's about the same amount of ABV as well, too. Uh, that's pretty much on the light side, but that's because it's British. Americans like having things robust and big, right? Alright, well, why don't we go ahead and give it a try here. Come pipe. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, mildly hoppy. It's not too much. It's there. Uh, maybe because you could say it's because it's American. They did say it's dry hopped. But it's, it's kind of like this, this, the background curtains to the show. Uh, the hop's not the main character, it's not the main uh, feature of this. Uh, it's, it's pretty sweet. It's like, I'm tasting like grapes, dried grapes. Well, raisins, right? Mm. Wow, that tastes really good. That's really good. And it, uh, although the, it's a uh, stronger taste than the vintage, uh, Fuller's Vintage Ale, um, it's it's not too much though. Definitely they tried to make it an English style and not a uh, let's go crazy American strong ale style. Um, pretty drinkable too as well, but of course I, I enjoyed bigger beers so to me it's drinkable. Maybe for someone that's new uh, to this kind of style it's like whoa you just get hit like crazy with this. Um, but yeah this is really enjoyable man. In some ways, although there's raisin kind of flavor, it's it's a bit grapey, and it gives it this wine kind of impression to it as well too. Um, yeah, I mean, some people may say it's like a, a mild barley wine, but at the same time, you know, it's like barley wine has that hoppiness going on. So, is an old ale is definitely what it is, an English style. Uh, this is really good. I actually might buy myself another bottle of this and let it age. I, I think this will age really nicely. Maybe not too long because it's 8.7. Maybe it could age it uh, longer than one year, but I think one year would be plenty enough to age this to smoothen it out. Anyways, so this was Great Divide's Hibernation Ale. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another Great Divide vlog. Come fight.